Today we will see how we can perform supervised classification and prepare land use land cover map in ArcGIS. So first of all, open a blank map in the ArcMap window. Then go to Geoprocessing and open the Arc toolbox. Firstly, let's add data. So here we'll need the Landsat images that you can download from the USGS website. We'll take all of the Landsat images from band 1 to band 7. Now here, as my study area was not lying in a single Landsat image, so I had to download two Landsat images to cover my whole study area. So before we start doing our supervised classification, we'll have to merge these images. In order to do that, in Arc Toolbox, open Data Management Tools, then Raster, in that, Raster Dataset, and then double click on Mosaic to New Raster. So here I have taken band 1. I had two images which I'll be merging. I have created a folder named Merge Landset Images. Now you can give any name. Like here I'm giving b.tiff or something like b1.tiff. Then here in the special reference properties, we'll set it to our UTM zone. You can find your UTM zone from the UTM zone finder. Set it to your UTM zone and press OK. Now this pixel type will be 16 bit unsigned. Cell size is 30 and number of bands is 1. So once the process will get completed, we'll get our merged Landsat image of the band 1. So here the processing has been completed. Let me just show you once. So this is how you can merge your Landsat images in case if your study area does not get covered in one single Landsat image. Now I'll just remove this unwanted layers. I have already merged the other bands. So I'll just add those bands. Now our next step will be Here, go to Windows. In that, click on this Image Analysis. Now here you will select all of your bands, which is band starting from band 1 to band 7. Select band 1, then press Shift plus Control, and then select the band 7. So all the bands will get selected. Here at the bottom, you find this Composite Bands. Click on that. So we have got our composite band raster. Now we'll just remove all of these bands starting from band 1 to band 7. Right click and remove. Now we just don't need this. I'll close this window. Here, right click on this, data, export data. Then after from here, we'll change the format and keep it as TIFF. You can even change the location where you want to save it. So I'll just save it in LULC only. Now you can name this as composite. 
line set dot tiff then just save this press no you will be able to see the processing at the bottom so it's almost completed now once this is completed we'll just remove this unwanted layer the next thing that we'll do is again we'll go to add data and here we'll be adding our study area shape file right click on the study area shape file go to properties then symbology and change the symbol color keep it as hollow increase the outline width you can even change the outline color if you wish to and then apply and ok now we'll be starting with our image classification for that go to special analysis tools then extraction extract by mask in the input raster it will be this composite lens set dot tiff and the mask data will be study area shape file you can save it to any folder of your choice give it any name and then press ok we don't want to classify the whole image that is why we just extracted our study area now we'll be working on this you can change the bands from here like this study c1 study c2 that you can see that is your band 1 band 2 band 3 band 4 band 5 band 6 band 7 here I have set RGB to 432 which indicates the natural color composite. Now click on your screen and open the image classification toolbox. Here we, as we are working on the study raster. So in classification it will be set to study. Now again I am changing this RGB to 564 which is the land or water indication. Now as you can see this purple color you can follow my mouse like this this whole portion and some of the other portions where we can see the purple color I'll just set this to circle and then here you can see this training sample manager here we'll create our first class which will be water body so just start selecting the areas where you find this purple color that indicates your water create as many circles as possible because the accuracy of your land use land cover map will depend on how much accurately you have classified it so now as you can see I have created these many circles so that the image can be classified accurately now we don't need all of these classes separately so what we'll do just click on this one then go to your last class pressing shift plus control and then select this last row now you can see this icon of merge training samples so we have merged it just click on this class one rename it as water body you can even change the color you'll have to write the whole name I have just written it as WB 
Now one of our classification is done, that is water body. Again, I'll change color and setting this color to 543, which indicates the color infrared vegetation. You'll be able to see the dark red color. That is your vegetation. So again, start creating circles. Cover whole of your area. Once it's done, select from second row until the last one, press shift plus control and then click on this merge training samples. Now this you will name it as vegetation. You'll find all of these color composites on my website. I'll also provide the link in description. You can use those color composites while you're classifying your image. The other thing that you can do is if at any time you are not aware like which area is covered by vegetation and which area is water or urban area then you can use the base map for that you can use the imagery to see whether there are houses or vegetation or it's covered with water like right now i'm able to classify this without using the base map but if you require you can turn it on Now I'm marking some of the lighter areas that is the light red color indicates the agricultural areas and one more thing that if you are using the RGB as 564 then the light purple color will indicate the urban areas. And here also, once I'll just show you by setting it to 652 and 564. So once if we set this to 652, then the dark green color indicates our vegetation and the light green color will indicate the agricultural areas. You can classify it that way also. If you wish, then you can use the 543, which is the dark red and light red one. And if you are setting it to 564, then the light purple color that you can see, that indicates your urban areas. And still, if you have any doubt in classifying, then you can open your base map so that you can zoom in and understand whether it is the agricultural area, urban area or a water body. So here I have named the urban as UR. Now I'm creating the classes for Baron. I have set the RGB to 543. This white color portions that you can see, that is the Baron land. Now here on the right side, you can see this create signature file. We'll just create a signature file and save it in some folder. I'm giving it the name as sign. You can give it something like signature. Once that done, you can close the training sample manager then in classification click on maximum likelihood classification here the input raster bands will be our study input signature file is the one that we saved which is I have given the name as sign
Now here, if you want, you can change the output raster folder and even give it some name of your choice. All the other things will be same and press OK. So now we have got our land use land cover classification. This might not be accurate as I have not created many classes covering the whole area. But if you will create all the classes covering the whole area, then you will get an accurate classification. Now just right click on this, go to symbology, change the colors. You can use the training sample manager to remember the classes that you had created. Like the first one was water body. Here this is for the description for legend. But we don't need that. We'll just change the label as water body. Then change all the other labels. Like the second one was vegetation. Third one urban areas, then agriculture, and then barren land. Here one means agriculture. You can write the whole name as agricultural areas or simply agriculture. I'll also just change this barren land to somewhat brown color. And urban areas keeping it as red. My agriculture will be right, light green and vegetation as dark green. Once this is done, you can just apply and OK. Here let's just rename this. This is our LULC. Now switch to the layout view. First just of this training sample. Switch it to the layout view. Create a map. Add title. Then north arrow. legend scale bar if you're not aware regarding how you can prepare a map in ArcGIS then you can watch my video on that you'll find the link in description Your map won't get completed unless you add the grids. So once this is done, you can add your grids. You can perform the supervised classification of the landset images in ArcGIS and prepare the land use land cover map. Thank you.